Well, obviously, you can pretty much bet on anything to do with the Royal Baby. It's the biggest and most exciting novelty betting event in history, as far as we're concerned. Forget about X Factor Final, forget about the Olympics, forget about White Christmas. This is the one where everybody wants to place a bet. At the moment, it's odds on two to five that Kate gives birth to a little girl here at the Lindo Wing any day now. If you still think it's going to be a boy though, you get much bigger value at seven to four. So naturally, if it's going to be a boy or a girl, it should be a 50-50 shot. But the amount of money that we've had suggests that Kate is going to have a girl. And obviously in Grimsby, when she accepted the teddy bear from a well-wisher, she said, thanks, I'll take that for my D. Daughter, dog, maybe Lupo's got the teddy bear, who knows? But the British public assumed she meant daughter. They absolutely piled in. And so that's why we've now got girl at odds on five to two ones, that means you've got to have five pounds on to win just two in return. That's how short it is. Obviously the name, it's a little bit like the lottery, a little bit like the Grand National. None of us have got a clue, but it just has that little bit of extra interest when you have a bet on the, on the baby's name. Obviously the Royals, they're not too imaginative when it comes to their, their names. The same names go round every few generations. So you see a lot of traditional names here. Alexandra and Victoria, they're the joint four to one favorites. And we actually had to suspend betting on Victoria on Saturday because we had so much money coming in in just a 24 hour period. 100 pound, 200 pound bets, like chunky bets for a name market like this. And we thought, hold on a minute, we're smelling a bit of a rat here. So we suspended betting. We then slashed the odds, reopened the book the next day. And that's why you've now got Alexandra and Victoria as the joint favourites. Charlotte has been subject to a gamble as well. Opened at 33 to 1, now into 6 to 1. Elizabeth has been the long time favourite, but it's, it's been shunned by punters in recent months. So it's, that's gone out to 8 to 1. But here you go, you've got one, two, three, four names on the list before you get to the first boy's name on the list. And that's George at 10 to 1. And that just shows that all the momentum and all the money is on a girl there. Absolutely. That's where most of the money has been going. Uh, the, the bigger bets has been going on the sex of the baby, but the, the amount and sheer volume of bets has been on the name. But the biggest individual bet we've had is for £10,000 on a girl. That was at even money back in December when the news was announced. So literally that really was a 50-50 shot back then. I mean, it still is now, but not as far as the odds and the money is concerned. So £10,000 at even money. If it does turn out to be a little girl any day now, then we'll be paying out £20,000 to that punter. So quids in, if not. <laughs> so just in terms of the due date, I mean, there's been speculation that it's going to be earlier, it's going to be later. I mean, what have, what have, the, what have the bookies uh, Well, our odds compilers, our mathematical geniuses up at HQ, they believe it's going to be July 16th. That's the 8 to 1 favourite at the moment, but if you believe it's going to be July 13th, which is the rumoured due date, there's 10 to 1 on offer for that, but we think it's going to be in the next 7 to 8 days. Anything after July 17th, we're not really seeing much money for that, so we think the baby is going to be here any day now, quite literally. And in terms of um, interest, um, with the amount of betting, I mean, has, has there been huge interest in this? Yeah, it, it's blown us away, really. I mean, we've been betting on this basically since Wills and Kate got married. Obviously, when a young couple, they get married, the next logical step is that they have a little baby. So we've been betting on when will they announce that they're going to have a baby, the future king or queen of England. So we've been betting on that for a good few years now. Obviously, the news was announced in December and it has just gone crazy. We've had over 25,000 individual bets, whether it's on the, the name, the sex, the gender, the hair colour where it'll go to university, if it'll play for Team GB in the Olympics, who its first girlfriend or boyfriend will be, you name it, over £25,000 bet. Oh, it's just gone absolutely through the roof. We, we didn't really expect this, but I think that just speaks precedence about how much we've fallen in love with Wills and Kate in this country because they're this young modern couple in love and actually they're kind of getting away from that reputation of the royals being this upper class stuffy family and because they come across as quite normal and quite neutral a lot of people can resonate to that and actually think oh yeah wills and kate they're actually quite normal so i think that's why we've gone wills and kate crazy here well, tell us about um, you know what bookie's favorite hair colors so not too surprisingly brown is the favorite at six to four obviously kate has brown hair all of her family do Blonde is in there at two to one. William's sort of mousy, blondy brown. Very, really hard to put your finger on it, but he's more blonde than brown. So that's why blonde's in there as the second favorite at two to one. Black, a lot of babies do come out with really dark black hair, but it's, it's in there at four to one. But ginger, this is the funny one. 
Seven to one, it was a 50 to one shot, but the British public, we love a cheeky little bet here, and it has been backed in, backed in, and we've had to slash the odds. So personally, I don't think the baby is going to have red or ginger or auburn colored hair, but the British public, they like to have a little joke and maybe trying to insinuate that William might not be the father and that his brother might be. <laughs> um, lastly, what's, what's been the biggest uh, bet that people have been, have been putting money on? Is it, is it the sex of the... Absolutely. That's where most of the money has been going. Uh, the, the bigger bets has been going on the sex of the baby, but the, the amount and sheer volume of bets has been on the name. But the biggest individual bet we've had is for £10,000 on a girl that was at Eva Money back in December when the news was announced. So literally, that really was a 50-50 shot back then. I mean, it still is now, but not as far as the odds and the money is concerned. So £10,000 at Eva Money. If it does turn out to be a little girl any day now, then we'll be paying out £20,000 to that punter. So quids in, if not. <laughs>